Hello, I'm Bob the Booker and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a book that I've read recently and absolutely adored and it's just come out and that is Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfeld, uh, Field. Field? Armfeld. Field. Um, and uh, I have sort of spoken about it in my weekly wrap up quite recently uh, but wanted to do something a little bit more specific about it just because I loved this book so so much and wanted to go into a bit more detail. Um, I will be talking about spoilers later in the book although there's not too much that I will talk about in terms of spoilers without it. I'm explaining this really badly. Essentially, there will be a sort of spoiler curtain I will be talking about. Um, but uh, when I do talk about spoilers, the spoilers aren't particularly large either. So do with it what you will. Um, but essentially, and I'll, I'll announce the spoiler curtain coming before it does. So please don't worry. This book. Uh, so she, uh, Julie Armfield, has previously written a short story collection called Salt Slope. Um, and I've sort of spoken about this a few times before recently, uh, but I really enjoyed Salt Slow. But I, I also struggle a little bit with short story collections generally. I don't really know why. Some of them really work for me, but I think I've not quite worked out yet how I find my pacing with short stories. Like whether I read the whole collection in one go, whether I do one a day, neither of these seem to really work for me. So there's probably somewhere in the middle. Anyway, Salt Slow was gorgeous and the writing style of it was so funny and clever and wise and uh, beautiful and so I was really excited to see this in sort of novel form almost you know a longer form book from Julia Armfield and it did not disappoint for me at all um, you'll notice quite a lot through this book I, I, this was a, a five-star read for me because I, I just absolutely adored it from pretty much page one um, and Our Wives Under the Sea is a really clever book I think because it manages to combine a sort of quite a romantic and beautiful story with something quite haunting and quite tragic um, but also without it really ever giving in to just pure sentimentality or pure horror um, this book always sort of finds its way straddling the line between those two things I think um, and so the overall story is two women um, who um, are married and one of them uh, uh, Helen, no, what was that? Uh, one of, Leah is her name, I don't know why I keep on calling her Helen. Um, Leah ha is, has been on a sort of uh, a deep sea investigation sort of time for, for quite a while. So she was off for what was meant to be, um, I think about three weeks or so, and ended up being around six months. And in that time, she has gone through some quite traumatic experiences um, involving um, what well that are basically really unspoken for most of this book and we're sort of just given little hints through what she says at the beginning and it's told sort of in a dual narrative form so we switch between Leah and her wife and what keeps on coming up is just how she almost feels quite disconnected from everything she's not really able to talk she can't fully process everything that's happened and instead she's sort of in sort of sat most of the day in the bath just sort of being surrounded by water um really kind of just not even luxuriating in it just sort of almost needing that like a fish or like a mermaid or something would need water and is running up the water bill and her wife is going wild and is not happy about this but is also feeling somewhat powerless to be able to support her and this is where i think the book becomes incredibly clever um in how it approaches things what we start to see is how the relationship between these two women is based so much in now a sort of misunderstanding these two women who were previously so close have had something sort of sever their relationship between them because that distance did not make the heart grow fonder if anything it, it kind of stopped them from really being able to communicate because there's something now in the in the way that the trauma of what had happened in this submarine this sort of deep sea excavation has not um sort of uh, is has not really been resolved it's there and they can't really make sense of it and so we find that the two women individually are going to talk to other people about what's going on but can't really seem to find a way to address it between them it's almost too um intimate to be able to tell someone that close to you it's almost too strong um, and so we watch as they go through various bits so Leah is really struggling her wife is trying to phone up um, sort of various bodies to kind of try and get the paperwork sorted and get money through and all of these other things to make it happen and it's sort of purposely 
mirrors and later kind of more directly references things like army wives and so this idea of you don't really understand the perspective of somebody who goes off and does this other thing um, because it's so different and so uh, there aren't words to really describe what it is um, and yeah at the same time this other person is meant to sort of wait at home and find out about things um, and just sort of hope for news and hope that it's good news and hope that their partner will return and it also makes a sort of really jokey reference um, to online um, sort of forums around things like this. And so there's a, a forum that um, is spoken about where people are, are typing kind of these whole fantasy worlds about their husbands who have gone off to space and why won't they come back and where have they gone and all of these sorts of silliness. And I loved it, and I just thought it was such a fun addition to this book. Um, and it's one of those things that seems at first like a real joke, but actually, like with a lot of this book, it slides really neatly between tragedy and humour. And so these characters, these people online talking about um, how much they miss their husbands who have gone off to space, as soon as someone challenges them on things and, say, and says, well, actually, that doesn't fit how we talk about these, um, these sort of fantasies actually like what you've said doesn't make any sense with the kind of consistent uh thing of how you talk about this and um, people get really angry and so there becomes this weird fighting online with people saying you're not creating a fantasy ca character correctly um and again that sort of seems very funny but then actually it gets down to the heart of what these people are going through like how do, how do you experience grief or mourning or fear correctly you know what is the the sort of the thing of this and so i think this is where this book again really shines and is really clever um because as the book starts to build we get this whole sense of what is how do you process something so unspoken between people and this is where I'm, I'm about to go a little bit more into spoiler territory. Um, so please consider yourself warned. The spoiler window will be, I don't know what my hands are doing. The spoiler window will be approaching shortly. Um, and here it is. Here is sort of some of the spoiler bits. And again, I'm not going to go into too much detail on some of the spoilers here because I do think it's worth experiencing a lot of this in the book itself. But if you have read it, you'll sort of know um, a little bit about just how brilliant this part is where the book starts teasing its own ending and so increasingly Leah is in the bath running up water bills and seems still really unable to process things but is maybe gaining a little bit more of an ability to do so and we also then meet the um the sister of a character who was in the submarine with Leah um a character who we find out died and so this adds an extra layer to this sort of tragedy where we we know a little bit about this character. We know something's gone gone wrong, but actually now we're really confronted with the death of someone. And we're then confronted with the dynamic of three people on board where one person then dies. And particularly under quite dramatic circumstances. And so the sister sheds some sort of light of really trying to help the characters understand what they do next. And it's not an easy decision to know what to do next here. Um, but this is again where I think Julia Armfield as an author is so incredibly bold and clever because she starts talking about this in quite a fantastical way and says something along the lines of books sometimes tease, you know, books um, and films and stories often end the way you think they're going to and this story is no exception. And it really basically teases what you've been sort of slowly building up a bank of ideas for and starts teasing that it might be reality because, and again, I, don't, I really don't want to spoil it, but we're, we're presented with all these images of things like Leah just sitting in the bathtub all day. Um, we're presented with sort of various locations that they are around and how Leah responds to them. And that starts to lead to a very specific ending. And the boldness of this book to, and of Julia Armfield to say, I'm going to take you there, is exquisite, I think. And for me, the payoff was entirely worth it. Um, I think this book was really clever with how it approached it. And I just, I, I thought, yeah, it's brilliant. 
Um, and so I came away from this book really quite touched by how profound it was, how moving it was, how haunting it was, but how funny it was and how glorious the writing was th throughout this whole book. And there's such a real tenderness to the relationship between these two women um, and between, you know, some of the other relationships in the book that I just thought was so successful and so powerful. Um, so I do really urge you to go and check this book out. I think this is going to be one of those books that uh, I hope it sort of really takes a few people's attention this year. Um, I would really love to see it on some prize lists. Obviously prizes are not the be all and end all, but I just think this book deserves a bit of extra love. Um, and I'd love to see that there. Please, please book of judges, please. Anyway, I've been Bob the Booker here, rambling about this book, but I really do urge you to go and check it out and salt slow if you um, are into short stories and think you'd kind of quite enjoy it. Um, what did you think? I hope you enjoyed the book too. Take care and speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.